countdown across Australia. And here's Jimmy and the boys. Jimmy and the boys, and here now is our chartbuster of the week. Hi, this is Shane Stevens on Countdown 81, and my new single is called Gentlemen and others, welcome to Countdown. Tonight we have something for everyone. From Stevie Nicks to the wonderful Jonah Louis, from eight heavy metal bands to the Nolans. <laughs> One of the finest bands in the world today, The Cure, live in the studio. And now, a great lady and the only real queen of pop in this country besides Joy Lane, Miss Masha Hines, with your love, still brings me to my knees. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Dave from The Vapors. This is Countdown 81 all over Australia. The Vapors turned Japanese for their number one hit last year. Will this be another one? Jimmy Jones. was The Vapors with Jimmy Jones. Strangely appropriate, isn't it? Later on this evening, I will have the immense pleasure of bringing on the Nolan's new single. Thanks, kids. <laughs> and uh, something else which is really interesting, Doug Parkinson live in the studio. Next we have um, Stevie Nicks with Tom Petty. She's a lovely lady. It's not a bad song. It's got a great title. It's called Stop Dragging My Heart Around. Where has all the heavy metal gone? We're here to tell you it's still alive and rocking. Judas Priest is a prime example of a top rock band in the UK. They recently toured America with Kiss and nearly blew their makeup off. This is their new single, Hot Rockin'.
chart-busting heavy metal bands in Europe. So when they got together to record Please Don't Touch, the result was electric. Bad Boys Rose Tattoo may not have made it here, but they sure have made it in England with packed out concerts. It was no surprise when Bad Boy for Love climbed to number one on the heavy metal charts. Their new LP, Assault and Battery, is out this month. Rose Tattoo. <laughs> founder of Deep Purple, left the band in 1975 to form Rainbow. The band has gone from strength to strength, and the new single, It Can't Happen, is already charting in Europe. the band Gillen with top 10 success in Europe and a cult following in Japan. Getting back to the roots of rock and roll, here's Gillen with New Orleans. Finally, splitting in 77, Deep Purple members John Lord, Ian Pace, and David Coverdale formed White Snake. Here they are with Fool for Your Lovin'. on the heavy metal scene is Billy Squire. Billy went top 20 in the US with The Stroke. With the exception of Rose Tattoo and ACDC, both fine Australian bands, is documented evidence that there are dinosaurs alive and living, headbanging in the UK. And moving right along, and do I mean moving right along, here we have some plastic pop for plastic people, a really lovely group of girls called the Nolans, and I'm in the mood for dancing. <laughs> That was the Nolans. Coming up on Countdown, we've got The Cure, The Fools, Jonah Louie, and Renee Geyer. 
Now, with his version of the Walker Brothers classic, The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore, here's Doug Parkinson. That was Doug Parkinson and Broderick Smith, two of the great voices of Australian rock and roll. And ladies and gentlemen, really nice guys. Don't go away. We've got The Cure and Jonah Louie coming. And this next band was discovered by my hero, Lou Reed. It's doing well in Melbourne, God knows why. But go out and buy it, because if Lou loves it, it must be great. And besides, how can you resist a band whose lead singer is called Sherry Beachfront. And this is Sherry Beachfront and Get Wet with Just So La 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 Only. <laughs>
That was Get Wets. Do you remember Roy Orbison? Well, the fools certainly do. Here they are with Running Scared. Just run scared. The attack must proceed. Sir, I don't think you got the picture. They are being cut down before they can get five yards. Bloody line. OK, well, tonight we're not really sort of, uh, sort of really getting down to the musical side. We're talking about a film which is probably, uh, I would consider, the best film to come out of Australia. It's an excellent film. You've just seen some footage of it. It's a film called Gallipoli. Uh, and first of all, this film has been given an NRC rating, and I really think this time that the censors, and it's my opinion only, have made a big blunder because I think everyone from that high to, uh, to, to 50 should be allowed to see this film. Uh, it's an excellent film in itself. It tells a great story. It uh, covers the history uh, of Australia uh, during the 1980s, 19, 1918, 50, 15 period. And uh, all in all, it's a film that a lot of people can uh, learn a lot from. Uh, it's about a story about the uh, young Australians who, around about 1915, uh, volunteered to go to war uh, for uh, the mother country to defend the mother country. They uh, went over to Gallipoli uh, with uh, a big adventure in mind and the reality of war hit them and they were massacred. Now, uh, the story of today is very much similar. There are many uh, young people out there today who are bored and who do go out uh, and uh, for an adventure, whether it be uh, perhaps uh, juggling around with drugs or just uh, sort of just going out for their kicks. And unfortunately, most of the time it ends with disaster. But the film itself is... Uh, is, is just an excellent film. There is an unknown actor in it, uh, Mark Lee, uh, a young Australian actor, who uh, does a superb performance or gives a superb sup uh, performance in this film. And uh, all in all, I just encourage everyone to go and see this film. Let's have another look at Gallipoli. This film is just so good. OK, Mr. Ells, you're in. Report to that group over there. Done. Mount up. Foot in the stirrup, knee in his shoulder, and relax. Thanks, mate. Foot in the stirrup, knee in the shoulder. Thank you. Good night, pal. I'm your uncle Frank. Tough but fair, so no bloody nonsense, eh? <laughs> Hurry up, Don, or the war will be over. Get him! 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 Get him!
All right, that was Gallipoli, an excellent film, and as I say, there is a lot of hope in that film as well because it's all um, to do, and young actors have put together this film, a young director, and like the music industry, uh, at least uh, Australia is still showing that uh, you can achieve something in the world today, and I congratulate everyone associated with that film, and it gives a lot of thought, so please go along and see it. Uh, a couple of albums, the Tubes album, this is... The Tubes album, this is a great album, and they've also done some amazing um, footage on this, on, this film, on this particular album. And uh, I guess it's for a video disc which is yet to come to this country, but uh, have a listen to this album because it's a real ripper. And this one looks like the old B-52s, but in fact it's the party mix, and they're getting into the disco side and they're not letting anyone else steal the thunder. So have a listen to that one, uh, the B-52s with party mix, all right? Okay, this group uh, toured here last year as a four-piece group. They are now a three-piece group, and I think they're probably better for it. Uh, they're receiving rave reviews, and if you get the chance to go along and see them, please do. I'm talking about The Cure, and here they are with Primary. You know, most people think I'm an extremely cynical person. 
And I'm pretty famous for slagging bands who haven't discovered that rock and roll is theater. But let me tell you, I saw the last gig of The Cure in Sydney, and what can I say? A mind-blowing, gut-wrenching experience. Immaculate sound, spectacular songs, and the most incredible light show I've ever seen in my life. Folks, the man over there is doing this to me. I would like to introduce a real fun person. He's had two very, very well-deserved hits with Stop the Cavalry and uh, Always in the Kitchen at Parties. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of new wave honky-tonk himself, Mr. Jonah Louie with Louie. <laughs> Oh, you never keep me waiting Never need for complaining You got a lot of understanding Oh, babe, you are amazing For the first time, a new single from Kim Carnes, Drawer of the Cards.
in it last week. Now Renee Geyer has her first national top ten hit with Say I Love You, leaping eight spots to number seven. Another Australian entry in the top ten is Rick Springfield with Jessie's Girl, up seven places to number six. Slow hand has slowed down for the Pointer Sisters. This week it's number five. Fizz are still climbing. Making a mind up moves up two spots to number four. Looks like Melbourne band Men at Work may yet hit number one. Who can it be now is number one in Melbourne and climbing in all other states. Stars on 45 is number one for the sixth week. Do you promise not to tell? Oh, 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 closer. That's it from Gavin Wood. Now it's back to Molly with Ignatius Jones from Jimmy and the Boys. Thank you, Gavin. Oh, well, uh, you've got through another show and can't dance survive once more. And so is my credibility, it, I hope. Yes, it certainly has. Listen, your arm's better. My arm is almost uh, back to normal. Ignatius had a, a terrible accident with Terrible accident. Right? Ter terrible accident. In hospital accident. and all of that. Yeah. I, uh, right, well, let's not get on to that. No, uh, no. The tour, the national tour. National tour, folks. We are going all over the country to places like Tasmania and New Zealand oh, and the Northern Tasmania. Territory, the Western again, Australia. Anyway, and the album. And the album, Teddy Boy's Picnic, coming out soon. Teddy Folks, Boy's Picnic, you won't you believe, believe it. Oh, incidentally, talking about believing, the number one is Stars on 45. Would you believe there's a follow-up to that with ABBA? And don't say anything. All right, it's time to say goodnight. Uh, and the number one record you've already seen, Cathedral College, hello. And we predict this to be a number one. You like this, girl? Yeah, look, this is going to be a huge one for Renee. Renee! Hey! One more time.